What's up guys, Jariah FIFA here. Welcome back to another episode of Manchester United All-Star Season 2, episode number 48. And of course, as you can see guys, we have a huge game coming up in the Champions League, the Champions League final or Champions Cup as most of you guys may know it. So it's a huge game against Barcelona. Now before we get into this one guys, I want to just take the time out to apologize for not uploading. Um, I had a debt in the family. I won't go into too much details because of the simple fact that I just don't like to be uh, talking about my personal stuff when I'm supposed to be really professional for you guys. So I apologize for this video, maybe not not being too professional uh hopefully you guys understand but i just want to kind of give you and share with you guys a little bit as to why i haven't been uploading now not all of you guys may actually follow my second channel too as well and the reason for it you know of course uploads being pretty much posted in that one is because i had uploads set for those as well uh, i had some set for this one too as well but i didn't go in and of course activate them because of the simple fact i was just pretty much down and out uh, my great grandma passed away on the day i actually came back from vacation i came back on sunday uh, she passed away that saturday morning as well which wasn't the greatest uh last month wasn't the greatest either because i had two family members passed away uh last month as well so it hasn't been the greatest as three family members in a space of just a few weeks or if you want to say a month so i uh, apologize for that guys but that's it let's get into this one and of course you can see the boston go with the 433 formation but we're going to jump straight into this one this is going to be a very interesting one and of course we should have a lot of fun hopefully with this one what do you guys think do you think i put a punch come away with a win not quite sure but we pick it up guys in the 14th minute marco royce on this one here is going to play this one out of the wing forever ever trying to split that one through but of course that didn't work they would break this one up pretty well and barcelona must say they were definitely playing some real good football in a sense they were defending pretty well which is really outstanding because they're very much good offensively but this was the best chance we had right here but of course you can see pk and of course jordan alba cleaning that one up pretty well so pretty much had nothing to show for the first half um to be honest guys barcelona didn't really have much to show for for the first half as well apart from having quite a bit of possession uh we played very well and of course you will see from the stats too as well we were very much up there with them they did have a little more position than we did but for the most part that was pretty much it you can see their tackles three apiece 57 percent of ball for them for 43 for us one shot for them but nothing on target and of course look at the shot accuracy and pass accuracy not that far off at all whatsoever so we pick it up in the second half and of course we're going to try and see if we can try and slow the game down a little bit the game was going way too fast and i think at that pace they were definitely better for them and of course you can see you will slow down messi picks it up he's going to pass his one around Sergio biscuit on the bar here and he's going to try and split the defense open we managed to clear it out but we clear it right to Inesta, who plays it right back into messi messi goes for goal and of course the Haya had to make a superb save what a save that was from the Haya tipping that one around the post and obviously this would be a corner for them so can they get anything from this corner guys no they can't but of course we didn't clear our lines and they almost get a goal Sergio Biscuit here I'm not quite sure how did he not put that into the back of the net that should have been a goal look at the replay here definitely would have went in near post but he dragged the wide and they made some changes bringing on Cesc Fabregas for Alex Song the man that decided to go for Chelsea uh, just in case some of you guys may not know he's actually going to Chelsea so I'm not quite sure why he decided to go to the land of all the midfielders it's just absolutely crazy uh maybe they're paying him some really good money I'm not quite sure but uh yeah i'm not quite sure if he's gonna be sitting on the bench or what it is or who's gonna be leaving uh so you get, get game time i'm not quite sure but nevertheless guys we were definitely trying to play forward and of course cat picks the ball up here he's gonna play this one into the feet off nanny in the 80th minute nanny's gonna cut off the wing and this is what he does best look at that goal what a stunning goal and a fitting goal to be winner in a big final like this too as well. We're hoping that this will be the winner. And of course, guys, that goal was just outstanding. Uh, he had some really had some hard time the first part of the season because he felt like we wanted to get rid of him. Once we assured him that that wasn't the case, he was very happy coming to himself. And he's definitely producing the, the goods as you can see there. He's just an outstanding player. And that, that's what you have happen, guys, when you have players confident and uh, pretty much under game but we continue to shut down barcelona they didn't have anything to show for it they did have a couple of chances but you know those are chances we shut down very well uh chances they have off target a little bit on target which is really tame to be honest uh, but that was pretty much it we pretty much hold on we took the win and of course you can see there guys the fans are celebrating the, the players are celebrating uh mascherano there is not too happy obviously <laughs> because they lost the game but i've nevertheless we're very happy we're happy that we actually pull off the win uh it was a case that we definitely kind of sit back and Parked the bus a little bit, defended, of course, trying to break it up. We did want to try and go for the counter attack, but it was so far up that it was a bit hard to break them down. And once they lose the ball, once we lose the ball, we get back into position. So it was pretty.
pretty kind of hard to uh, go forward, especially when they're pushing up quite a bit too as well. We didn't want to get burned and, of course, give up a goal. Uh, we'd rather just sit back and, of course, concede a goal. Uh, defending, which I think like I was really good at too as well. So I felt figure, you know, we defend as much as we can, uh, but we're just not going to keep pushing up when we already have the lead. Uh, if Barcelona is not going to push up, they weren't pushing up once we were pushing up, which was the craziest thing. But nevertheless, it was a good, good win. It was a good game, to be honest, guys. You can see seven shots, four for them. And look at the position how close it was and of course you can see the pass accuracy was very close as well 88 to 87 90 was the man of the match we are the champions guys manchester united <laughs> taking it one nil against barcelona champions cup or champions if you uh, are the champions league if most of you guys may already know it as anyway and of course we came away victorious so we're very happy we went through quite a bit of big dogs to get there and of course in a way beating them to make it to the finals we're very very happy now guys you can see the champions cup finals Manchester United versus Barcelona. Everyone is talking about it. It's in the paper. It's every single where. And of course, we're just outstandingly uh, performing this season. We just did so well. Um, I don't even think we have lost any competition we've been in so far this season, which is really great. And of course, you can see what comes with success. We actually pick up 18.4 mil going towards the transfer budget for winning the Champions Cup or the Champions League. And of course, that is in itself is outstanding because we have that going to possibly bring in some more players. We also wanted to go in, of course, take care of some contract issues but a lot of players their contracts come in pretty much to an end Marco Ross is happy and of course you know was happy that I gave him an extended run back into the team the same thing can be said for Everton Barrier too as well uh, Michael Keane was the same as well he pretty much was happy he's a young lad and we wanted to kind of get his trade you know going a little bit He's pretty good uh, defensively as well to be so young as well, which we definitely wanted to continue playing him. So we definitely gave him a run out. And of course, we still have, uh, you know, this man that has just kept tanking us because he was just really happy uh, to get a run in, which I think sometimes, you know, they really overdo it a little bit. But nevertheless, guys, we went in and of course, we went and adjust some uh, some of those contract offers. And of course, you can see players are going in and of course, accepting theirs. Michael Keane accept his. Nanny went ahead and accept his as well. Pretty much everyone who were having issues with, with their contract pretty much went in and accept theirs and of course you know what more can you say everyone wants to stay everyone is happy we're winning the team is winning and that's just the way it is and you can see there chris martin wanted me to take a look at his contract too as well which we will do to sort it out for him so we have one more game coming up in the of course in international be sure to definitely tune in and peace out